Okay, got the I got the new mm, key. Uh, since we have just started, then uh, maybe just let uh, let's wait for some moment, and let's do some routine checkup. So sound check, then video check, speaker check. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Okay, I'm here. Okay, all right. Then let me just switch on my own uh, Facebook to check on the comment. So just in case you guys have have any questions, so feel free to just drop a comment there, and you'll be attended shortly. Right. Um. Okay. So. All right. Okay. I can see myself in here. Okay. So now we have a uh, twelve audience at the moment. So maybe just let. Just wait for another few, uh, maybe just another one or two minutes, then we shall start our session today. Come on, come on. Okay. Right, we have 16 here. Right. Hello, everyone. How are you, Jai? How's your, how's your days? Okay, hello, Luis. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks for telling the fact that I'm handsome. I'm aware of that. Thanks very much. <laughs> Okay, yeah, because, all right, so uh, since that today's video is actually uh, quite long, so uh, maybe perhaps I uh, won't have any further delay. So uh, those that join us later, so you are feel free to replay back this uh, this session, maybe for your own revision and so on. So, 大家好,我是Calvin,今天要跟你说一个关于pressure-regulator的故事,诶,不是,诶,sorry. Wrong, wrong language, wrong style. Okay, hi everyone. I'm Calvin, and yeah, without further ado, so uh, and then and then uh, let's start our our session today. And then since that on last week we have our part one, so today we will continue with our our second part. So I believe you guys have know uh, a thing or two about the pressure regulators. So yeah, so uh, basically uh, you guys know that uh, can I get. I mean, uh, based on the the cross crossword uh, puzzle that you guys have submitted on last week, so you guys probably knows about the function and then the difference between the pressure reducing regulators and also the the back pressure or the relief relief regulators. So today we will focus on how the regulators act, uh, uh, how they function, and what is their application on site. So. Yeah. Okay. So for today, we uh, we will probably have also uh, our speaker from Cairo, Italy. So which is Matteo. So I'll pass to my friend Matteo. Ciao, Matteo. So you can take over from here. Here we are again for the third appointment on the fundamentals of regulators. I hope the last lesson was uh, of interest to you. I would like to thank the uh, Turkamp family again and uh, personally for this precious opportunity to present our company and our product. It's a shame not to be able to see us live, but I'm sure that we will go to better time and soon we can organize um, a real meeting. This time, we will close the chapter on regulators by talking about our most representative models, their operation, their characteristics, and finally, their applications. As already said the last time, the regulators represent essential and crucial items for an adequate control of the pressure and temperature in the plant, and uh, fun applications, especially in ma market uh, like oil uh, and gas power, chemical, petrol, chemical in general, uh, industries. Um, we can guarantee a wide range use of our valves, also for the most special requirements. In fact, as you can see in this two slide, um, our regulator size is from one out four to ten inch size as per standards and um, a special we can arrive up to 20 inch. Ratings start from ANSI 150 to 1500 as per standard and 2500 as special. The maximum inlet pressure is 280 bar gauge as design inlet pressure. Maximum inlet outlet controller pressure is approximately 50 bar gauge. 
minimum outlet control the pressure is 12 millimeter of water column here below you can see all our regulator series first of all we have our ub families composed of ubn ubs ubr ubb ubas as a um, valve that can arrive up to two inch sides in this next slide are shown the mm and bpm series the Maximatic uh, series and pilot operated series. At the moment it's just a quick look because uh, in the next slide we will focus on each one series. Now we can start beginning with the pressure reducing regulators that uh, maintains a desired downstream pressure while provides the required flow to satisfy the end user demand. Our model is called UBIN it's a direct operator pressure reducing regulator available in one half to two inch body size and can be supplied with different range of connections flanged or treated it has um, an extended CV um, rating that starts from 0.031 up to 12.8 uh, Standard uh, available body material are carbon steel, stainless steel and other exotic materials. The trim for internal part is in stainless steel or other exotic material. And uh, we have a wide range of um, diaphragm materials that we will see later in better details. The standard position is in, in an open configuration. The flow tends to open. Uh, normally the valve is open and the um, <clears throat> action on fail is to open so the spring force is opens to opens the plug otherwise back pressure when equalized push diaphragm upward closing plug now see with this nice animation how it works in red color there is the inlet pressure entering the valve through the nozzle hole and it goes in the downstream part of the body, the body. The fluid after that is colored blue to indicate the outlet pressure. Here you see that there is a small channel is the internal pressure sensing that connects the body with the diaphragm chamber. What happens when P2, uh, the downstream pressure, is minor than pressure set? Uh, when you have the downstream demand increase, we have a pressure drop under the diaphragm because the outlet pressure decreases under the set pressure value, the system is unbalanced, so the spring pushes the diaphragm down, opening the plug and increasing the flow rate delivered and the pressure outlet too, in way to achieve the required value of set pressure. Instead, when P2, uh, the downstream pressure, is major than pressure set, on the contrary, when you have that the downstream demand decreases, there is a pressure increase under the diaphragm. Now the force of the pressure under the diaphragm overcomes the force of the spring, compressing it, causing the restricting of the flow area. So less flow is delivered and the outlet pressure decreases up to the value of the set pressure and the steady state is already restored. Um, in this picture you can um, uh, recognize the particular um, design of UBIN model. In fact, um, UBIN has a split body with flange connected to the body, so the face-to-face -face dimension can change and can meet customer requirements. Here we can see a um, slide in which are presented a schematic example of a UBAN installed in a way to regulate the pressure from the tank to the process. In this real photo, you can see an example of UBAN regulator installation. And uh, in this case, we have uh, an upside down installation. Now we can speak about back pressure regulator or relief valve. Um, it's the UBS series. It is a direct operated uh, regulator, of course. Is available in uh, one half inch to two inch body size and can be supplied with a different range of connections flanged or treated. It is a ISA face to face uh, dimension. 
uh, the CV value start from 0 0.031 up to 35. The body material uh, is available in carbon steel, stainless steel or um, other exotic materials. The trims uh, material is all in stainless steel or other exotic materials. We have a different, different uh, wide range uh, of diaphragm materials in elastomeric um, or metal. The maximum inlet pressure is uh, 52 barks bar gauge. Um, the minimum uh, regulated pressure is um, 12 millimeter of water column. The body um, is in a different construction uh, respect to the UBIN series. Uh, in fact, the body in this case uh, is integral with the flanges and the design uh, became more compact. It is a spring to close layout. Uh, it means that the spring pushes the, dia the disc against the seat. Now, looking to the animation, we can see always in the red color the inlet pressure, in blue color the outlet pressure, and in uh, yellow color the atmospheric pressure. So, the relief function works in this way. When the inlet pressure is lower than pressure set, the valve remains closed. If the inlet pressure increases over the pressure set, the plug opens and relieves the excess of the flow rate to protect the system from the overpressure. And finally, the, the main features previously described for UBIN series, so all uh, other internal components such as the actuator, the seat, the diaphragm, as the, are the same for this uh, type of valve. In order to understand better the, different, the difference from uh, relief valve and back pressure regulator, let's see uh, once again what is the set pressure for a relief valve. The, the set pressure is a pressure at which the relief valve begins to open. Otherwise, in a back pressure regulator, the set pressure is the pressure to which the regulator supplies the requested operating capacity. Remember always that relief valves are not safety relief uh, devices. This is a schematic example of UBS regulator installation. Uh, the UBS, in this case, regulated the pressure from the pump to the tank. Here a picture, a real picture of an example of UBS valve uh, installed upside down for low pressure. In this slide is now shown a um, particular um, type of valve that we call UBINS. Uh, what is this valve? Is the relief back, back pressure version of UBIN. In fact, there are almost twin valves with different function. This valve, in fact, um, has not the, the compact body of UBS series, but um, it has the same uh, split body um, of the UBIN series in which uh, flanges are connected uh, uh, to the body. And uh, in this way, we can modify the face-to-face -face dimension and reading according to the um, customer request. The only difference from UBIN is that this series with the final S is uh, uh, the function. In fact, UBIN S is a relief back pressure valve. Now we can present the last product of UB family. We are talking about uh, UB Air series. The UB Air is a pressure reducing regulator, the same as UBIN series, but the difference is that UB Air has an ISA face to face dimension, uh, not split body, and higher capacity and a compact design. Uh, higher capacity because the maximum CV in this case is uh, 22.6 against 12.6 of UBIN series. 
They are available in one half up to two body, two inch body size and flange and uh, flange con and connection. Uh, the flanged version is designed with eyes a face to face dimension and uh, the particularity of this regulator um, is that have a compact design and a durable construction to sustain rugged use and their construction makes them easy to install and to maintain. This is um, the CV table in which uh, you can see um, for each uh, nozzle number um, the CV value available uh, for each uh, um, size inch. And uh, in yellow, you, you see underlined the, the height capacity CV value that you can get with UBR respect uh, the UBIN model. Now we can start to talk uh, um, about internal components of our valve. And um, we can start with um, the seat of uh, UB family. We can grant uh, the leakage class fourth thanks to the metal seat in um, stainless steel or full light, or we can grant leakage class uh, sixth with soft seat in elastomeric uh, material such as FKM, PTFA, EPDM, and uh, all other on uh, request. We have a wide range of um, material to grant an high compatibility with fluids and pressure condition such as uh, the temperature. For the same reason, we have available a wide range of diaphragm, uh, metallic uh, and elastomeric uh, to grant the compatibility with the most parts of medium and the temperature. Here we have uh, all our actuator range for UB series. And uh, as you can see, either is the set pressure value and smaller will be the actuator diameter. Starting from uh, diameter 100 with the maximum uh, set pressure of uh, uh, 50 bar gauge, we can arrive um, up to um, and after more um, with the diameter 100, uh, 140 up to 9.2 bar gauge. In this other slide, uh, we have uh, another two uh, actuator dimension. On the left, um, 220 uh, diameter actuator uh, that can regulate from um, 0 0.094 to 2.7 bar gauge. And uh, on, the on the right, the um, 360 actuator diameter that can regulate from 0.0025 to 0.84 bar gauge. And uh, finally, you can see that the actuator increase the size with the decreasing of the set pressure value up to the bigger one, um, 550 millimeter actuator that is able to regulate up to 12 millimeter water column. Uh, in all these pre previous and in this slide, you read the max working pressure under uh, the diaphragm value. But what is this value? The maximum working pressure value is not the mechanical design limit of the actuator, but is the pressure behind which we don't grant the exact regulation of the valve. In this slide, you can see uh, our, uh, our options, uh, our common option on UB family, such as uh, coded it uh, treated on bolts and nuts, uh, the possibility to install a safety device on the actuator, the installation of a pressure gouge, um, the customized face-to-face -face dimension on UBIN and UBINS series, and uh, on the end, our uh, standard um, flange uh, rating connection, uh, 1,500. 
For the next three slides, we will see some uh, example of uh, a real installation. In the, in the first, we have an example of UBIN valve series with um, pressure sensing, uh, an internal pressure sensing. In the second, an example of UBR and UBIN uh, with internal pressure sensing. And uh, at the end, a uh, new BS and uh, UBIN installed on a skid. Until now, we have spoken about valves with maximum size of uh, two inch, but for valves um, for which is uh, required either capacity, either diameter, there is uh, um, another family with other products. Uh, and one of these is the MM series that can arrive up to uh, 10 inch um, as a standard and uh, 20 inch as per special construction. The MM series um, are spring loaded, self actuated, and direct operated valves. This series can be pressure reducing or pressure relief by pressure uh, valves. The configuration is different respect to the other valves until now analyzed. The actuator, as you can see, is placed at the top, not in direct contact with the body. It is only external pressure sensing as per standard. Uh, with um, an external uh, tank, it can be suitable to be used with steam or high viscosity medium. The MM series is able to withstand very high temperature, so it's perfectly suitable for the steam application. It is possible with a condensation tank that is installed on external pressure sensing. In this way, the fluid will be in contact um, only with the fluid content into the tank and will be not directly in contact with the diaphragm. The fluid into the condensation tank generally is water. This is an example of a MM series installation for steam application with uh, the condensation tank installed. This is another uh, photos um, about the startup and maintenance for nitrogen supply in a polyethylene plant um, on the left. So for, um, for, for gas, application for gas, and on the right, an application uh, for liquid for a watering fire firing system installed in a motorway tunnel. We can pass now to um, another type of um, regulator that is similar to MM, but um, is in a different configuration. In fact, we are talking about the BPM series that has the same body of MM but different configuration. In fact, it is fully closed, suitable for dangerous medium. Uh, as a standard, it has an external input sensing, but on request, it can be internal too. BPM series features a packing less construction and closed spring case. Those elements prevent any leakage from flowing outside the valve, both in normal operating and in case of diaphragm failure. Moreover, the absence of packing increases the sensitivity of the valve since the friction is reduced to a minimum. As you can see uh, from the image, um, this series is more compact than MM. And uh, obviously, um, Futures both pressure reducing and pressure relief back pressure uh, operating. Here, another two example of BPM installation, one for compressor turbine drive with fuel gas, and uh, the other is the, is the same, shown to the another perspective. The last but not the least is the Maxomatic series. That is a particular pilot operated valve. Um, the body is always the same. Changing the pilot, we can change the function of the valve. That can be relief, reducing, lever regulation, or flow limitation. 
So we can choose the function changing the pilot. It is suitable only for water, uh, so it find application especially for water on uh, fire firing system, for example, in the irrigation or water treatment and in special material on shipyard and vessels. There is no mechanical parts moving, no sliding guides that ensure extended durability. It is very easy to maintain because as per UB family, the diaphragm can be removed even with the valve installed on the line. Tightness is obtained between the resilient surface of the diaphragm, that is only elastomeric, and the rigid metal seat of the body. It grants tight uh, sailing and no damage occurs to the seat in caves of solid particles flowing uh, through the media. Uh, here are shown uh, four examples of maximatic serial, one for hydrovalve release function, one is called the lag um, valve, uh, the sprinkler valve, and the seawater distribution. Now the last slide is dedicated almost to the market in which we place our um, pressure regulating valve. So as already said in the first step of the, the previous lesson, uh, the market is divided into, into three areas, the steam, the liquids and the oil and gas. In steam, obviously, we can have the power plant, uh, dye machines, uh, boiler constructors, um, also food and beverage industry and the pharmaceutic industry. For liquids, only 10% of our market, uh, we have firefighting, aqueducts, irrigation, water treatment and waste mood treatment in which we can find a lot of maximatic series, as already said and uh, the most of our market is on the oil and gas in which we can find the blanketing uh, system uh, with our pilot operated valve the offshore market refineries and byproducts chemical and petrochemical lng plants om skid manufacturers compressor and turbine manufacturers and uh, gas distribution also for this time, that's all uh, for what about um, regulators, pressure regulators. I hope that uh, everything was clear. And uh, in the next uh, and last uh, lesson, we will see uh, another our best product that, that is uh, uh, the super eater. Thank you very much and um, have a nice uh, evening. Bye bye. Oh yeah, sorry, technical problem. Oh yeah, as I'm technical problem just now. Okay, now I am I unmute myself. Right, back to the back to the broadcast room. Okay, thanks. Okay, thanks to to Matteo for the wonderful presentations. And I believe you guys have um peers about how I mean what is the pressure regulators and how pressure regulators uh, actually works and some of the applications. Right. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I know. Yeah. No sound. Okay. Yeah. It's been soft. Right. Um. Okay, um, yeah, then maybe perhaps I'll just uh, repeat some of the points that Matteo had mentioned just now. So, in so, so over my uh, left hand side, so you can see that actually, uh, so, so we have a uh, so we have a demo unit here, so it's in 3D. So, just now, uh, in the video, Matteo actually showing it in 2D. So, how the thing works is that so imagine the inlet is the inlet is is from is from this side, and then so over this side is the downstream pressure. So this is the spring which is uh, used to uh, to to control the to control the, the the set pressure. So yeah. So in here, so in here you have the stem and and and, and also the plug. So as so if you guys recall on the uh, animation that sh that show uh, just now, right? So okay, once that once that at the downstream right, so the pressure is lower than the set pressure. So okay, actually okay, the the force uh, exerted from the downstream pressure 
is insufficient to uh, to counter back the, the to counter back the spring force. So the spring will push the diaphragm and then and open up the plug in here. So which uh, allows more flow from the upstream from the upstream to the downstream. So once that the downstream pressure has uh, uh, equivalent pressure to to your desired set pressure, so the force exerted by the up downstream pressure they were so so they so they were um they so they were they were kicks back so they will act on the diaphragm and kicks the spring up so uh, and compress the spring then hence your blood can uh so your your blood can seal the pressure uh sorry the flow coming from the uh coming from the upstream so that's basically how this thing works okay right so without so without further ado so i guess you guys are very exciting are waiting for the quiz yes for today we have a quiz and i will have a rather simple one so yeah be patient don't answer first let me finish my let me finish um what i want to say first okay for the quiz today right so uh okay the price is uh is okay the price i didn't prepare much so i will giving out a a, a, a grab voucher which uh in a value of 20 ringgits because even though that now government allow us to um to travel across the borders, but still it will uh it will highly recommend it you guys to stay at home. So I believe this uh, grab grab voucher you guys can use to uh to order your meals. Okay, uh okay, without okay, before I show the quiz, I just have something wanna something special wanna play. So for today's quiz, right, we are not selecting the fastest um the fastest correct answer so the one that answered so the fifth uh the fifth caller sorry not sorry not call it the fifth uh person who answered the the correct uh with the correct answer wins the prize okay okay let me show you guys the quiz okay right so the question is what is the function of the pressure reducing regulators is it a to regulate downstream or outlet dam bridger, or B, to regulate the upstream and inlet pressure, or C, to regulate the downstream or outlet pressure, or D, to pressurize your tap water. So it's a time to answer. <laughs> so and the right answer number five. So don't Play cheat by answer the same the same correct answer for the fifth time. Okay, I will just count it as one. That's still count as one. All right. Right. So I have the answer in here. Okay. Um. Okay. Actually, I have some problem here, so I have to count one by one. So give me some moment. So the, yeah. So okay, I have some replies in here. So the first one will correct is uh yeah. So. Let's see whether we have enough one or not. Yes, so I believe now we have more than five, uh, five audience to answer the right answer. So from the list I have in here, the first one is Zaida. Yeah, you can you got the right answer, but you are the first. And then the second is Wai Chong, also answer the right answer, uh, also answer with, with the correct answer. And then third is Hanif, Hanif Jasmine. Fourth is Ilda. Jang jang jang, the one that show on my screen number five is Raihan. Raihan Muhammad No. Yes, congratulations. You have you have won uh you have won the you have won the prize today. Right. So uh Raihan, so later on please um please uh contact our digital marketing team uh to collect your prize. Okay, all right. Um Zaida Jawab Samoy, yeah, but as always. <laughs> right. Uh, so I guess that's the session for today and thanks for joining us today. So stay tuned for the session tomorrow, which we will talk about another product of Caro, which is the D super heater. So now what is the super heater? Mm -hmm. Let's keep that for tomorrow. Thanks for, thanks for joining us. Once again, I'm, once again, I'm Kelvin, your speaker for today's session. Yep. See you again. Bye.